Greetings and salutations. Today I wanted to show you all kind of an update to my shipping container workshop. Uh, it's expanded a little bit, not done yet. There's gonna be a little office up there, but this is the full length of the building, 20 feet. And I went out 40 feet with pillars in the middle, holding them up all right. That wall's gonna be covered. That's gonna have steel over it, and then we're gonna put some nice edging all along there. Got the roof halfway done on the other side. Need to finish the walls for the interior there. Probably fill that in with wood. Leave that open, because that'll fit nice crates up there that I can reach with the man lift. That's just gonna be kind of parked right here. You can kind of move side to side, pick things as you want. That one's gonna have windows, all that good stuff. Go on in the back over here. Got some stairs. Did a nice little understair storage. <laughs> Kinda worked out that way. Probably gonna put some cabinets back here maybe after that gets painted. And why the stairs are here, still gotta fill in the gravel there. Why the stairs are here. Ugh. is eventually we'll have railing doorway here's the room like i said still gotta this back wall's up 16 inches on center i got it all the way to the uh standoff point going to add walls that way finish the walls there ceiling here's done great insulation spot there all two by four, 16 inches on center. Still gotta add uh, wood here to be able to have 16 inches on center. This is gonna be 12 feet by 20, which is the length of the pole building. This is gonna be a nice little farm office study uh, type of thing so I can look out on my property. It's gonna be very nice. I'm quite proud of what this turned into. Ta-da! Put up a pegboard, plenty of workspace. I'm in the middle of building the building, so that's it's gonna be kind of cluttered. Got my whole shelf stock back there. The only update I am considering is right around here, cutting open this area and putting a door and then I'd have to move that light switch probably over maybe even over there and eh, probably just one cut around here one of those weldable shipping container doors would go nicely right there and main reason why the framing is so nice is is not to hold it up not to do anything else not even to add insulation it's just so I could put things against the wall as needed and it can be something as simple as just a two by four to hook your tools on. So that's pretty nice. What's cool about that is it does not touch the metal, which is really cool. Magnets galore, right? Holders there. Main thing I'm proud of, all my stock items I've always wanted to have. I finally have a spot for it and I'm finally doing that. Air compressor, lights, pegboard, two by fours mounted to hold things up on the pegboard or above the pegboard. So just overall, wonderful layout. Things might shift around a little bit as I build more, but yeah, there you go, just a little update. So that's the beauty of the shipping container workshop. You can keep updating and keep adding and build on top of it build off to the side left side right back side i mean i guess that's all you can really do add doors windows if you really wanted you can add shelving tools all sorts of stuff all right well this is going to be a short one so just a little update to what i've been doing so until next time i am the ill-informed human goodbye